Hello, I'm Patricia Walden. In today's world, with its constant stresses and demands, knowing how to relax is a very important skill. Yoga practice consistently with a caring attitude can teach us this skill. In Yoga Practice for Relaxation, Rodney Yee and I will guide you through restorative poses that replenish your body's energy and rejuvenate your spirit. These poses were created by Yoga Master BKS Iyengar. This video and Yoga Practice series are designed to help you deepen your commitment to yoga. Practicing the restorative poses is different from the other sequences in the series. In this video, you're not working your body. You're not doing, you're undoing, allowing nature to restore you. There are times when you're exhausted from overwork, or are sick, or have jet lag. These are the poses you turn to. They can transform you. With the support you give your body through the use of blankets, chairs, and other props, you give space and comfort to the inner organs. Physical and emotional tensions release. You breathe more freely your muscles soften, and your joints gently open. This video includes two complete practice sessions. I teach the first, which focuses on opening and softening the front body. At the conclusion of the session, I guide you through a restful series of breathing exercises. Rodney Yee leads the second session. It begins with a gentle flowing sequence and continues with supported forward bends with a chair. The poses in both sessions improve circulation and strengthen the immune system. They are of great benefit to women during PMS, menses, and after childbirth. Take the time to nourish and restore yourself with yoga practice for relaxation. Allow the healing powers of yoga to reveal themselves to you. Supported Child's Pose. Begin in simple sitting pose. For this first restorative pose, you'll need a bolster and a folded blanket, or several folded blankets. Inhale, place your palms on your knees. Lengthen your front body up from the pubic bone. Exhale, lengthen the back body up from the lower spine. Let your shoulders relax completely. Don't let the breastbone sink. Keep a gentle lift there. Inhale, soften and widen your upper back and shoulders. Exhale, from that softening, lengthen your neck away from the upper spine. Soften your facial skin and let it descend downward toward the chest. Relax your temples, your jaw. Separate your knees, but not too far apart. Big toes touching. Take your bolster of folded blankets and bring them between your thighs. You'll need a blanket to support your forehead. Inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Rest your torso and forehead on your bolster. Close your eyes. Take the time now to adjust your support so you receive the full benefit of the pose. Use your breath to release into the pose. Inhale. Exhale, move your sitting bones downward toward your heels. Inhale. 
exhale, soften your lower back muscles as you widen them away from the spine. Let your lower spine lengthen toward your sitting bones. Breathe into your lower back and abdomen to create space. The more you can allow your abdomen to be completely supported by the bolster, the deeper your relaxation response will be. Inhale, exhale, completely let go. Soften your eyes, throat, and tongue. Inhale and slowly raise your torso. Sit in simple sitting pose. Supported back bend. Begin in staff pose. We commonly hold tension in the upper back and shoulders. Opening the chest in a supported way releases this tension. For this pose you'll need a bolster and two blankets or several blankets. Sit in front of your bolster or rolled blanket. Bend your knees. Place a blanket roll under your knees. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll down. Keep the knees bent, feet on the floor. Your shoulders should drape off the bolster. If you feel discomfort in your head or neck, Place a folded blanket under them. The arch of your neck should be completely supported. Bring your arms away from your body in line with your shoulders, palms up. Adjust the restorative poses to fit the needs of your body. The breath should move freely. It may take some experimentation to learn just how much support you'll need to get the right amount of opening. Close your eyes. In this supported position, your ribs are lifted to open the chest and let your breath move more freely. Inhale. Exhale, allow your back muscles to relax. They might resist at first, be patient.
Use your breath in contact with the blanket roll to help the back muscles soften and expand. The quieter you become inside, the more you will experience the feeling of open space inside the chest and lungs. As you feel the back muscles relax, soften the groins and straighten your legs one at a time. To come out of the pose, move slowly. You're in a quiet state now. Bend one leg and roll onto your side. Rest before coming into simple sitting pose. Supported crossed legs pose. Begin in simple crossed legs pose. For the next pose you'll need a bolster and three blankets or several blankets. Sit in front of one end of your bolster or folded blanket. Support each thigh with a rolled blanket. The point is not to stretch the inner thighs but to relax the chest and abdomen. Use another blanket to support your head so that your forehead is higher than your chin. Slowly lower onto the bolster, first to the elbows, then all the way down. The placement of the bolster allows the ribs, lungs, and diaphragm to unfold. This quiets the brain. Close your eyes, soften them, look inward toward your heart, inhale, exhale, the breath should move freely. Now change the cross of your legs, opposite leg in front.
uncross your legs and roll onto your side. Use your arms to help you come up. Sit in simple crossed legs pose. Supported bridge pose. Begin in simple sitting pose. This is a deeply restful variation of the classic bridge pose. You'll need two bolsters or several folded blankets. Place your bolsters so that they are end to end. Sit on the bolsters in staff pose. With your hands by your sides, slowly lower onto your elbows. Lower the rest of the way. Lie so your shoulders are off the bolsters and rest lightly on the floor. Take the time to adjust your position so that you're comfortable. Roll the thighs in and extend the legs. If you feel any discomfort in your lower back, lift the tailbone and breastbone. If you still feel discomfort, place a rolled blanket under your ankles. Now feel your body completely supported by the bolsters. Observe the gentle lift in the breastbone and the unfolding of the abdomen. Let your breath carry you into a deeper state of relaxation. You can stay in this pose as long as you feel comfortable, up to 15 minutes.
and both legs. Carefully slide off the bolsters. Rest with your legs bent. to your side come to simple sitting pose Supported shoulder stand. Begin in simple sitting pose. This is the crown jewel of restorative poses. It brings harmony and radiance to body, mind, and spirit. For this pose, you'll need a bolster or several blankets, a small rolled towel, and a wall. Place a bolster of folded blankets about two inches from the wall. The support should be high enough to lift your pelvis well above your shoulders and wide enough to support you from the pelvis to your lower ribs. Sit on your bolster. Pivot on your buttocks as you swing your legs up the wall. If you feel any discomfort in your neck, either use a folded blanket or a small rolled towel to support it. Release the weight of the legs toward the sitting bones. Gently turn the shoulders under. Bend the elbows so that your fingers point toward your head to help open the upper chest. By sensitively positioning yourself in this pose, your inner body will be able to soften and expand. Observe the pool between the navel and pubic bone, a reservoir receiving blood from your legs. Your abdomen gently unfolds. The ribs and diaphragm lift and open sideways. The lift of the chest repositions the heart so that it rests easily. Blood no longer needs to be drawn uphill. It flows down to your heart. Rest quietly. Inhale. Exhale. Allow the breath to direct your relaxation deeper.
Relax the skin of your facial muscles to release tension in your eyes, ears, and tongue. When they are passive, your entire nervous system relaxes. This pose is healing. It can transform you. Relaxation pose and deep breathing. Begin in simple sitting pose. For this pose you'll need a bolster and a blanket, or several blankets. It's so important to spend some time each day being quiet, to find out how you're doing below the surface of your being. Practice relaxation pose at the end of every session, or at any time during the day. Sit in front of your bolster, knees bent. Lean back, place your elbows and forearms on the floor. Lower yourself one vertebra at a time until your torso is supported by the bolster. Place a folded blanket behind your head and neck. stretch one leg away from you at a time. Let your legs roll out. Move your arms slightly away from your torso. Turn your palms up. Feel your body in contact with the bolster and the floor. Is your weight balanced evenly between the right and left sides of your body? Is the center of your head resting on the support? You can adjust your head by placing your thumbs on the base of the skull and drawing it up and away from the neck. Lower your chin without compressing the throat or overstretching the neck. Close your eyes. Soften the inner corners of your eyes. Let them move away from the lids and rest deeply in their sockets. Release your head from the base of the neck. Descend the skin on the forehead toward the nose, nose toward the chin. Soften the root of the tongue. 
completely release the lower jaw. The more you can release and soften the facial skin, the deeper you'll relax. Lie quietly. We'll begin our breathing practice. All the breathing instructions should be practiced at your own pace. Observe your breath as it moves into and out of your lungs. Observe your breath as it moves into and out of your lungs. The breath is the bridge between your inner and outer self. Inhale softly. Exhale. Once you feel relaxed, make your inhalation slightly longer than usual without forcing. Now make your exhalation longer than the inhalation. As you inhale, fill the lungs from the bottom to the top without straining. There's a tendency for the eyes and the brain to move up. Keep them descending toward the heart. Exhale from the top to the bottom down into the abdomen slowly without releasing your breath all at once. Inhale. Exhale your breath down into the navel area. Make your exhalation soft, calm, and smooth. Slow, soft inhalation. As you inhale, observe your inner body moving to the outer body. Feel the horizontal and vertical movement of the breath. As you exhale, breathe out slowly, smoothly, deeply. Feel your breath descending down into the area below the navel. Inhale, move the diaphragm and lower ribs sideways. As you exhale, let your exhalation increase in length. Let it be totally quiet. In that quiet, pacify your entire body. Don't harden anything inside your head. From this silence, begin inhaling again. Observe the warmth and fullness of your inhalation. As you exhale, release down toward your navel area. Observe the coolness of your exhalation. Exhaling teaches your abdomen to descend, soften, and release. It teaches silence to the body and brain. Surrender to this silence. From the silence, begin inhaling. 
As you inhale, inhale with warmth and joy, as if you're receiving a divine gift. As you exhale, exhale with gratitude and surrender. This gentle act of inhalation and exhalation will have a very deep quieting effect on your nerves. After your next inhalation, release your control of the breath and let it return to normal. Now we'll begin relaxation pose. Bend your legs and roll onto your side. Remove the bolster and roll back. Extend your legs away from you one at a time. Now you're ready to relax completely and withdraw from the surface of your body. Draw inward away from your skin. Draw your eyes and ears inward and let them meet at a point inside the chest where it's quiet. Allow your arms and legs to be completely supported by the floor. At some point, your awareness will move away from your outer body and you will experience a quiet flow of peace towards your heart. You should be in a very peaceful state now. As we end relaxation pose, salute your soul. Open your eyes, but keep them soft. Rest quietly for moving. Bend one leg and roll onto your side, moving away from your heart. Come to simple crossed legs pose. Relaxation pose teaches you to be outwardly and inwardly still. In this stillness, the body and mind are united. Namaste.